What's going on, y'all? It's Dewan Hottles. It is Saturday, and we're just hanging out. Um, if you are getting to it, still finding ways to create value using your work energy to get monetary energy that's constantly dissipating and converting that into the hardest, scarcest asset in the form of sats, which is the smallest unit of Bitcoin, then I do applaud you. If you're doing it, though, do it responsibly. Stack your sats. Acquire your Bitcoin from a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized exchange such as hodlhodl.com where all you need is a password and email address no more and you're able to trade and acquire bitcoin link down in the description hodlhodl.com also you want to store that bitcoin securely in a cold storage wallet or what they would say a hard wallet and the coin kite store down below has a great cold car wallet called the cold car wallet so check that wallet out it's open source and popular amongst the bitcoin community let's get it so I want to talk about how right now isn't the time to be uh, distracted. It isn't the time to try to impress anyone. This is the time to get revenue. This is the time, your best opportunity to just acquiring income right away. Whether you're hustling, side hustles, doing odd jobs, doing temporary work to get it. It's not the time to be worried about how you're looking with people you know. I would even go as far as saying don't you shouldn't even be um, interacting as much with people as you that you know unless you all are, have the same goals or you go in the same direction because at this time you should be laser eyed focused on acquiring as much as you can of the most scarce hard asset that's been discovered on the internet and that is the Bitcoin Bitcoin itself that lives on the Bitcoin network so uh you know you 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 know i hear people like for instance you know at the job that i do work um i was helping a gentleman who was interested in starting his own business and wanted to set up an account now he was going into trucking the trucking industry i think maybe not trucking let me just scratch that i think mobile detailing right uh, those are usually uh pretty simple i think to get the equipment to do cleaning and washing and vacuuming though you know that that's not too much too capital intensive right especially if they're renting that that equipment and they uh handle jobs per call or per time that they are able to get the job so it should be a little overhead um but uh the gentleman wanted to focus a lot on to that which is fine i mean if it's generating income already great um, but what stood out to me is that he specifically stated that he wanted to pass this down to his kid. He wanted his kid to work this, to, to have some somewhere to work, which is cool. At the same time, in about maybe five years, maybe six years from now, there I can't help but think that their child will look at them and be somewhat disappointed when they realize that their father did not acquire as much bitcoin as they could uh, especially right before um a bitcoin spot etf at this point of adoption um during the time where we're in one of the longest bear markets in bitcoin history uh while the price is below 50 percent almost 60 percent um from its all-time high and with, with with all with talking about 18 almost 18 trillion dollars sitting on the sideline from hedge funds and that that are um, that have submitted e Bitcoin spot ETF applications, and so I, I can't help but believe when this kid gets a little older and all that's left is a mobile detailing job in in, in an environment where we're having an ever changing economy industries are going to be disrupted vastly because of artificial intelligence electric evms you're talking about cbdc's are coming for you're talking about uh social security going to run out all types of things that are changing rapidly um in this world and who knows how regulation would affect the industry that you are are risking your capital to build the business in okay um i think learning a skill is terrific especially if it's one that will survive 
the evolution of artificial intelligence and, and you know, and, and disappearing industries or industries that's going to be disrupted by, by it. But I think as of right now, while we are in the, I would say, accumulation, somewhat still the largest, longest bear market possible, acquiring Bitcoin is something that is the best thing that I think anyone could do for their children, for their legacy. And then it'll just be hard to face your legacy or your children when all you have to show for is maybe like not even, you know, fractions of fractions of Bitcoin and a pile of shit coins that have lost a tremendous amount of value against Bitcoin. Okay. Subsequently putting you in a place where it hasn't really it can't really be considered as owning one of the most valuable scarce assets you know known ever ever known so if you know instead of i think in my opinion businesses are great if, if it's already functioning and, and and bringing in revenue cool but if you're starting from the ground up going to work day in and day out taking that capital to risk it into starting a business in a industry that may be I, i'm sure getting disrupted by the changing economy by changing global uh, laws by government laws change and so forth instead of acquiring a almost once in a lifetime asset where anybody can 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 basically buy a piece of it's just crazy so anyways that's what i wanted to share with you don't worry about what people think people are gonna people don't if pe people don't have a conviction like you do because they didn't put in the work to understand the opportunity that's in front of you it's not a time to try to be cool in front of people to want to you know the average car payment now in the u.s for a new car is 17 717 dollars that is the most squandered uh opportunity to build wealth that i've ever heard when that can be used to buy as much bitcoin as you possibly can on a month to month before blackrock Fidelity, ARK Investments, um, Vanguard, Charles Schwab, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, all of them go get into this heavy and they open the floodgates for their clients to start um, filling up their coffers with Bitcoin as well. So, uh, you know, don't let the rich guys steal what is what's in front of you what's what's at like literally right right in front of you on your table so that's all i gotta say today i hope you guys are enjoying your saturday it is i'm right in front of this sun getting a nice sun bathing going on and um yeah i'm gonna relax probably catch a little college football tonight and i hope you guys are doing well till next time